I want to try out a new character. I've been looking at the pseudomap for way too long. It's kind of getting boring. So I'm going to go to mixamol.com, go to characters, and I'm going to download the Y bot. I'm going to go to my characters folder and create that Y bot folder. And I'm going to drag in the model that we downloaded. I'm also going to go through the usual importing, change it to humanoid, configure, t-bind pose, apply, done. And we don't need the animation for this. We just want the character. Okay, let me get rid of the suited man. First, let me put this at 000. zero, zero. Drag in the Y bot. Okay, now they're both at 000. zero, zero. I'm going to duplicate the suited man. And I want to unpack the prefab. Drag the Y bot into the cube. Get rid of the former suited man. Delete the suited man from the scene view. I'm going to change the name. And I'm now going to drag this into the folder and turn this into a new prefab. Okay, let me unpack it completely. I want to unpack everything because I don't want any nested prefabs. Okay, looks good. I now want to set up the ragdoll physics. Ragdoll. And we want to drag in the parts. So we have the hips, left up leg, left leg, which is the knee, the foot, same thing with the right leg, the foot. We also have the left arm here, the elbow or the forearm, right arm, right forearm, and the middle spine. So spine one, I think that's the middle spine, and the head, create. Okay, I want to fix the forearm here. The collider looks way too big. So left forearm, let me change the height or the length as well as the radius. Also change the center. It looks about right. So I want to copy the numbers, copy component, go into the right forearm, paste the numbers, the values, and just change negative to positive on the center so it's exactly the same. I also want a collider for the left hand, a separate one for the hand. So it's going to be a sphere collider adjust the radius and the position. Okay. Looks good. I want it to have a rigid body. And I also want the character joint copied from the left forearm, paste that into the hand, drag in the connected body, which is the elbow. And we want to mirror this 
to the right hand. Okay, negative to positive. Put in the rigid body. And we want to copy the joint from the forearm. Paste and drag in the connected body. Okay. I think the head collider is a little too small. So let me change that too. Okay. Looks good. I'm going to click play again just to test. Oh, hold on. We forgot to set up the ragdoll parts and turn it into triggers. Okay. Make sure you click this button here. And let's apply it all and click play again. Now they shouldn't be colliding with the box collider. Okay. Looks good. I also want to set up the general body part. So hips is upper, left up leg is lower, left leg, leg, same thing with the right leg, right up leg is lower, right leg is leg, spine is upper, Left arm is upper, left forearm is arm, and so is the hand. Right arm, upper, right forearm, arm, hand, arm. Click apply again. And remember the forward or the lead jab. For the player, we want to change the collider name to, well, let me just add the collider name here. Mixamo rig left hand. Add it there as a collider name. I also want my own materials for this character. So I'm going to go into character control, click on identify current materials. So we have two different types of materials here in the character. I'm going to go in there, duplicate them, the joints and the body. And let me try turning them yellow. I think the joint can remain the same color. I just want to change the body, maybe something like this. Adjust the smoothness. Okay, go back to the character control, drag in the yellow materials. So, body to body, joints to joints, and switch. Everything should switch over. Let me adjust it a little bit. That looks all right. Kind of reminds me of Bruce Lee. Let me create a separate folder for yellow. I'll just call it yellow and drag in the objects just to organize. I also want the dummy to be different colors. Mm. Maybe blue. So have the duplicate. Turn it, drag it into the folder as an original prefab. I'm going to rename it 
blue, I guess. Okay, and I also want to change the materials here. Again, duplicate them. Rename them blue. Actually, oh. I want to duplicate from the original prefab, which is already blue. Okay. Rename them blue. And drag them into the blue folder. Okay. Again, I'm going to go back to the material changer and drag in or match the materials, joints and body, and switch. Now we have a blue dummy. Let me apply the blue dummy. Uh, I should turn off the manual input for the blue. Okay, let me rename the files. I like to organize things. And let me click play, see if it works. Okay, looks good. Let me also try hitting the leg. Works fine. Everything's exactly the same, except I just switched out the characters. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.